Hey Science Bowl viewers, my name is Rcubed and welcome to today's video where we'll be going over my middle school Science Bowl preparation guide with practice questions and more. Stay with us by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can get notified when we post Science Bowl preparation. You can learn a lot about science by watching our videos. Stay tuned. During the competition, each question has a category and the high school and middle schools have a different set of categories for their questions. The high school categories are biology, chemistry, earth and space science, energy, mathematics, and physics, while the middle school categories are life science, physical science, earth and space science, energy, and mathematics. Each match starts with a toss-up question. The moderator announces the subject of the question as well as its type, which are multiple choice, W, X, Y, and Z, or short answer. Once the moderator completes the reading of a question, students will have five seconds to buzz in and give an answer. Students may buzz in at any time after the category has been read. There is no need to wait for the moderator to finish. However, there is a penalty for interrupting the moderator and giving an incorrect answer. These are known as incorrect interrupts. Once a student from a team has buzzed in, that team may not buzz in again on that same question. Conferring between members of a team is not allowed on toss-up questions. If conferring occurs on a question, the team is then not allowed from answering that question. If a student on a team answers a toss-up question correctly, that student's team receives a bonus question. The bonus is always in the same category as the corresponding toss-up question, though it might not always relate to the toss-up question. Since only that team has the opportunity to answer the bonus question, there is no need to buzz in to answer it. After the moderator finishes reading a bonus question, the team will have 20 seconds to answer. The timekeeper will give a 5 second warning when 5 second remains. In bonus questions, conferring between team members is permitted, but the team captain or spokesperson must give the team's final Let's practice one question. Mathematics, multiple choice. Which of the following is a quadrilateral with only one pair of parallel lines? W. Trapezoid X. Rhombus Y. Rectangle or Z. Hexagon Time. The answer was W. Trapezoid Correct responses to toss-up questions are worth 4 points each. If a student buzzes in on a toss-up question before the moderator has correctly read the question, known as an, an incorrect interrupt, and responds incorrectly, 4 points are awarded to the opposing team and the question is reread in its entirety so that the opposing team has an opportunity to buzz in. A correct response on a bonus question earns 10 points, making the total possible score on a single question 18 points, 4 for a correct answer, 4 possible penalty points for the other team making a mistake, and 10 points for the bonus. This gives you a perfect score of 450 points. Earth and Space Science Short Answer Which planets in our solar system have no known satellites? Time The answer are Mercury and Venus There are various different types of penalties given during a Science Bowl match. If a player interrupts and answers incorrectly, four penalty points are awarded to the opposing team. If a player answers without being recognized, known as blurting, four penalty points are also given to the other team. Communication among team members during a toss-up incurs no point penalty, but disqualifies that team from answering the question. However, if the team that is no longer able to answer the toss-up engages in distracting behavior, then the opposing team is awarded four points. For example, if you were to buzz in, get it wrong, and then suddenly blurt out something. The other team will also have the option of running 20 additional seconds off the game clock. Similarly, if the team not playing the bonus engages in distracting behavior, then the opposing team is awarded 10 points and the option of running 40 additional seconds off the game clock. Let's go through the remainder of our questions. Math short answer. What is the hypotenuse of a triangle with sides 5 and 12? Time. The answer is 13. General Science Short Answer. 
What is the electron configuration of carbon? The answer is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. General science short answer. Today, most semiconductors and transistors are made mostly of what element? Answer, silicon. Physical science, multiple choice. The smallest particle that maintains the chemical properties of a compound is called which of the following? W, a molecule, X, an isotope, Y, a proton, or Z, an atom. Time. Answer, W, a molecule. Few more toss-ups. Earth science multiple choice. Which of the following types of rock is created through the cooling of molten materials? Is it W, sedimentary, X, igneous, Y, bituminous, or Z, metamorphic? Time. The answer is X, igneous. And it's tip time. Quick tip, if your team doesn't know the answer, make sure to guess. I'd suggest guessing either Y or W. Those are the most common sciencebowl answers. Now listen up. I have one last science bowl question that's very important. Make sure to hear this one. Which of the following are you going to do after watching this video? Is it W, subscribe, X, like, Y, comment, Z, share, A, keep watching the rest of the videos in the playlist, or B, all of the above? Well, you guessed it right. The answer is B. Now. Make sure to quickly click up in the top right to visit our playlist where we have tons of Science Bowl videos and other preparations, guides, practice questions, anything you could imagine for Science Bowl. Please make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed and stay tuned for daily Science Bowl. Thanks for watching.